Hello everybody and welcome back to the final wrap up of Genshin Impact How to Play and today I am on a different account that I have been working on since day one and I am at, at rank adventure rank 59 so what I want to do is briefly show you the different rewards you can get and basically explaining what happens or what is going to happen as you continue um, as gaining more adventure rank experience, so on and so forth. So in the other account, I think I was at 19, I was just about to get to 20, and basically when you get to 20, you get an Ascension World Quest to upgrade your world, and it'll be world level 1, from 0 to 1, and your adventure rank is gonna uncap from 20 to 25 you'll get these uh rewards um when you're at adventure rank 20 you also unlock the spiral abyss this over here is the spiral abyss how to get there you will find eventually it um as you explore this area Right over here, if you go on the cliff, there's a breeze that blows you up into a portal and then it transports you over here. And uh, once you arrive, you go here. And then here it tells you like the different bo um, boosts that are available or what kind of special effects the upper floors have. And how long the Spiral Abyss lasts for. It's usually 15-16 uh, days. So basically you start at 1. And here you can see at floor 1, pyro damage dealt by all party members increased by 75%. Overload damage increased by 200%. So this floor will definitely be easier to do if you have a fire, um, fi uh, fire party members or electric party members. Because uh, they'll do more damage and you could check out... Uh, your rewards for each floor. Uh, challenge summary is like when you've done it before. Uh, you can check the rewards for the current floor. How many stars you get per floor is th three floors. Uh... And when you check, you are able to see the different enemies on each floor. So you can better prepare yourself when you press start. You would only have the characters available that you have in your roster. So just keep in mind when you do those things. Um, and you will get these rewards. And as you continue on... One of the rewards that you will get when you start playing the game is you will get a free four star character. I'm blind. Zhang Ling. You'll get her. If you don't get her from the wishes already, she you will get her from completing the spiral of this. <clears throat> Not in its entirety just to a certain floor. I think it is the 
first, second, or third floor. I want to say it's the third floor. So, something to look forward to. And at level Adventure Rank 20. So now, when you are at 22, let's check it out. Let's go back. At 22, you unlock the Domains of Blessing. But I don't know if they tell you that here. I don't remember. Alright, so let's just go from the back. I'm at 59. This is what happens at 60. The last world um, rank. And you're fully uncapped. Another ascension quest. And as you can see here, this is the uh, constellations for the traveler. So you won't get your last animal constellation for the main character until you get to 46. Ascension quest. Rank up without an ascension quest. Constellation at 37. Ascension quest at 35. Okay, so we're going to talk about 35. At 35, everything for the most part will be available to you in the game. Uh, being Having access to the newest event quest, having all the stories available... Um, will happen for you at 35 and you will also gain access to the serenity serenity pot housing system which I have a playlist on the serenity pot and uh, the quest that you uh, get once you reach um, 35 adventure at 35 all right and those are the rewards. Another rank up without a ascension. A constellation at 27. And also at adventure rank 27. Domains of mastery unlock. Those are basically ascension materials. So all the ones that are unavailable before in the world will be able to be unlocked at 27. And at 26, it doesn't say it here, but you will gain access to story keys and I will tell you what that is right now. Alright, so this is the story quest menu. As you can see, it says complete 8 daily commissions to receive a key. So, on the top right hand corner, there's 3 keys. You can only collect 3 keys and it takes 3 keys to unlock 1 story. So, those keys get refilled one every two days so you'll be able to refill that in six days so um make sure to use those as soon as you can and um make sure you complete your dailies to regenerate the keys and here they have like the rules and how it works and um, these right here are the hangouts. Hangouts are quests that you get to go on with a particular character. And it has multiple endings and you can start it from, for the most part, anywhere. And you get to collect these 
pictures. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. And, um, let me get away. And you could actually take those pictures, post them on the walls in your housing system, the, um, the home in your housing system. And as you can see, these are all the characters that have a hangout. Um, they do not require keys. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can show the quest. Adventure. Here we go. So these will be the quests. And um, these are all the characters you get quests for. And it's basically released in that order from that will be the first one with, the, with this being the last one. And so you'll need those keys to open up these quests. And these are just the uh, other quests that you go through, but these are um, ones require keys. All right. So let's talk. Astra Abyss. Okay, girl. I might have to keep doing this. So 26 was story keys and then 25 you get an ascension quest and at 25 they don't say it here but you open up the city reputation reputation system and um, at 22 the domains of blessing will be able to be unlocked, which those are domains that are also for essential ascension materials. All right. So when you get to 25, you get the city reputation system and I'll show you where they are. Just being lazy. So Mondstadt would be the first one you open, or are they more or less open at the same time. So right here, Hertha, the coordinator, you talk to her, how's my reputation in Mondstadt? And so these are weekly things that you will have to do. Because the reward system takes some time to get from level 1 to 8. As you can see here, you get recipes as a reward. This Animoculus Resonance Stone helps you find Animoculus in the field, so that's very important. A diagram for the wind catcher. This allows you to make an item that can catch wind. So there's like these little wind fairies looking things and you can catch them and then release them wherever you want and it creates a wind current. Here is a a card, like a um, the avatar background, another recipe, 
this right here, Diagram NRE Menu 30, is really important and a lot of people, you know, argue about this being later in the game rather than sooner. The reason is because it allows you to eat quickly on the field without having to go into the menu. And I'll show you what it is. This right here. NRE menu 30. As you can see, I have a delicious tayaki and a suspicious steak. <laughs> and it looks like a little pouch. You can uh, change the different foods in here. And I know, you know, a lot of new pe new players looking at this are like, wow. Uh, like, why? And... You uh, just switch to it. It says equip right there. And um, yeah, there's the food. Maximum HP. So I don't eat, but yeah, you could be fighting. And then and I know that's <laughs> it's hurtful to see that you have to wait so long. Uh, so let's continue. This uh, diagram animal treasure compass allows you to make a compass that will help you locate treasure chests in Mondstadt only. So fun times. And also you are able to create, have a blueprint to create a portable waypoint. So if you're forming, farming something in particular like a boss and you can't teleport to where the bosses are. You have to track. You can just go there one time. Set a teleporter. And you know. Use it whenever you're ready. Another name card. Another recipe. And then you get. This glider. So. Let me show you where some of those items are. Because you're like, where do I make them? Right here. Let's see, gadgets. So these things, the teleporter, Animoculus Resonance, Geoculus Resonance, Electroculus Resonance, these help find the uh, electrocolide that you need to upgrade the Statue of the Seven. And so, as you can see, they all require materials to be made. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is go over to Liwei. And I'm going to check out the reputation system over here also. Miss you. As you can see. Same thing. Geoculus. Okay, right here, this is important. And I suggest when you are doing the reputation system to start with Liwei and then go back to Mondstadt because getting condensed resin, the blueprint to create condensed resin is really important, especially when you want to stockpile energy and use it for later because you don't have the time. And I find this to be top priority, one of the things that should be in the beginning of the game. But unfortunately, you have to wait till later. So, 25. Adventure rank 25. 
So as we continue, name cards. Okay, this right here is a portable stove. Fun times. Treasure compass. And wings of leeway. And as you can see here, there's bounties with different difficulties. And the targets have uh, weaknesses that are like different than normal. Like this one takes increased damage from catalyst wielding characters, but is invulnerable to cryo damage. So you have to figure out a team when you go up against them. But I actually just going for the hardest because it gives the most points towards your reputation. And uh, it gives the most money. And you can do these every week. No matter um, if you have maxed out your reputation level. As you can see, uh, it says 0 out of 3. So I still have 3 of these available to do if I choose to or not. And I'll just get... I'll be doing it for money at that point. Money only. So 30, 60... 90k just for doing these uh, mini bosses and also same here uh, these are all gonna be 40 experience and uh, 20k Mora so 20 40 60 a week and uh, as you can see this person needs two sweet madams uh, three violet grasses three silk flowers so pretty easy and it all goes towards uh, the reputation system. Here just keeps track of how much you've explored of each area. Each uh, reputation system for the nations has one that goes 20, 40, 60. So you just get uh, some experience and money for that. And also you get reputation experience for completing quests from the nation. As you can see, they have like the quest markers, and there's 51 of them to complete. Who's that skulking around? Oh. Um, so, as you can see, I have 86 resin. This thing right here in the middle, uh, up there, is 86. So, say for instance, I would like, uh, I don't have time, I just want to, you know, use that and come back later. I'll go to the alchemy bench, and this is the condensed resin that you get from completing the leeway reputation. And as you can see, I can make two. I don't want to right now, but the result of making them are these so as you can see I have three there all right and another thing that happens at adventure rank 30 is you are able to uh, Go to Inazuma if you have completed the Archon quest. Let this be a lesson to those who yesterday said I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> right. If you have completed all the Archon quests or story quests that are needed, you will have to come talk to Beidou. And when you do that, you guys are going to set sail for Inazuma earliest at adventure rank 30 spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert yeah, yeah. and uh, basically you will have to as you go through the different nations you will unlock all these different domains. These are the different artifacts.
the weapon ascensions, they change based on the day, which ones are available, as you can see. These are only available Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. And for your talents, those are the ones available for the day. One in each different nation, same as these. The artifacts have more than one per nation. And also, these are the different weekly bosses. As you can see, I still have one available. Actually, there's another. This one is a weekly boss. So, all those get reset on Monday. On reset on Monday, they all become available again. And they're only available to be done... Well, rewards collected once. As you can see, remaining attempts to claim treasure, one out of one. Here, it just tells you the Spiral Abyss. And it can take you back there. And... Uh, these are all the easy monsters and their drops. All the elite monsters and their drops. You also track monsters from this menu. All the boss. Weekly boss. No, that's not a weekly boss. That's the only weekly boss here. These are for ascension materials. All these particular items. Uh, and they're also available based on the release. So those are all the bosses to look forward to. Have fun. <laughs> I know for work life balance. And, uh, so basically, when you start the game on Monday, uh, when you're adventure rank 30, uh, 5 and above, you'll be doing dailies, you'll be knocking out your weekly bosses, and be waiting for your, uh, resin to be replenished, you will, uh, be checking to see... How much time you have on the Spiral Abyss and uh, have that uh, done before that specific time. Thanks, bud. I think um, this is pushing it. And also, something that becomes part of your dailies is... Let's uh, use the teapot. Realm is truly beginning to thrive.
you ever have any questions about the realm with... So, you are able... As you can see, you have, like, the farm. It takes, like, three days or so for them to grow. And these are, like, I'm assuming different crops to suit, like, the different nations. Seed dispensary. So you get this from Madame Ping. And so basically you equip this. And when you go buy these flowers, but in the open world, you just collect them. And you collect the flowers and the seed. And then you can use the seeds in here or buy them for the shop. And so that's going to be something you do every three days. You come in here and check. There's a notification that shows up on the screen when they're ready. It's in the it's usually in the top left corner. And so that'll be part of things to do um weekly or you know every three days. And I am trying to see if I had covered everything. Oh I wanted to show you the reputation system rewards in in Azuma. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want to see. But the only reason why I'm showing is so you know when you're at 35 and you have access to the entire map, you can um decide where you want to invest your time as far as the reputation system goes. All right, so recipes, blueprints, seeds, name cards, this right here, as you can see, uh, increased gliding movement speed by 30% for 30 seconds. So just like a little buff that you could access quickly on the field. Furniture, name cards, um, to find Electroculus, Electro Treasure Compass map, Blueprint, and the Inazuma Glider. So I wouldn't say that there's anything there to put, um, I, I would say do the leeway for the resin and then try to go for the electroculus and then get the treasure compasses and um and everything else after that. I would say it would be the order to do that. And as you can see, after all this time I'm still missing something, but the reputation is still full. So sometimes you'll have to choose like what do you want to complete or what do you have to wait for it to complete to, seen by the to get all those things done in the reputation. And um, other than that, I can show you... Ascension materials. I don't even have that yet. But I beat the boss though. These are all the different gadgets. So this is something fun to look at and look forward to.
I don't get to buy new clothes often. I should really save this for special occasions. Mother's teachings are with me all... With the sea's breeze. Let's go and enjoy the moonlight.
So the best you can get out of this with some attack, crit rate, and crit damage. So for her circlet, I just chose a uh, crit rate so I can balance her out. As you can see, um, I have some attack in there and some crit damage also with some elemental mastery. So those are all offensive uh, stats that can be used to help uh, raise your damage potential. For the sands, I just put uh, attack. Main stat with, uh, as you can see, crit rate, crit damage, some high energy recharge, but you have no control over these stats, so it's just kind of whatever you can do. Um, I can probably find something better or try to farm something better, but that is what endgame is like. This is what endgame is like, trying to find artifacts that have these stats to make your characters stronger in the long run, and it never ends. You always can find something better. Your uh, stats can always be better. Uh, her feather, of course, it has base attack, crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Some HP in there, never hurt. And also uh, her flower, crit rate, crit damage, elemental mastery, some defense just in case, you know. So that's basically I'm sharing her so you can have an overview of like how to build, what to look for, and each character is unique. Each character has a different play style um, and you figure out when you play with the characters how you want them to work and you can see the damage numbers yourself. And you can choose how you want to build your characters based on the stats that are available on your artifact. And what you're able to get when you actually get into doing the farming for your artifacts. I'm trying to see if I can find something to fight real quick. Um, over here... I like to beat up in these Fatui. This is just for fun. She's not level. Did he just die? Yes, catching. So as you can see, with uh, me using catching, how it her numbers were all balanced. Nothing was too crazy. Nothing was hitting too hard or it was just everything was more or less like balanced. Her physical attacks were hitting like 5k and when she used her elemental skill it did more or less the same. Like see? Oh well. 13k. So that's like a crit. Yeah, so there's just things to look forward to when you play Genshin Impact. And um, I have uh, made a lot of playlists that have different things available showing you the Battle Pass, which um, unlocks at 20. And I have a Serenity Pop playlist and the Spiral Abyss uh, playlist um, that I will be updating and the playlist that will continue to be updated uh, will be the event quest because event quests are always rotating and changing. So that will be 
what I will be continue uh, updating and doing um, for the future, get your impact. And um, whatever else, if there's any requests or anything comes up or any changes that I could add to the Let's Play, I will, uh, let's learn how to play, then I will do just that. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will be back. Have a good one.